Hi, I'm Abigail Crane. I'm a second year chemical engineer. Uh, hi, I'm Rihanna. I'm a third year mechanical engineer. Hi, I'm Josh, and I'm a third year aerospace engineer student. You do have a big step from GCSE to A-level, that's given. Um, but between A-level and university, the biggest thing I think is just being more independent with your studying. Uh, obviously, in school you get a lot of teachers hammering you on about, you know, you've got to do your homework, you've got to get to class. You're not going to have that, but it really gives you the ability to define yourself and really get into studying. Interesting. I get a lot of questions about um, what the jump from, like, academically is like, but really, I'm thinking, uh, the jump from GCSE maths to uh, A-level is a way lot, bigger, bigger than it would be because you'll find a lot in the degree that yeah. you're actually using skills that you've been taught in A-level just in new ways, so like integration, mm -hmm. all that sort of stuff, and it's already in there. As well, it's like they teach you everything from scratch, so even if there's something mm -hmm. that you might not have covered because obviously different schools do different exam boards, so like one person might have Taught, been taught something in a bit more detail, like they do teach you everything from scratch, like other than certain things which you just need to know, like having A level maths, for example. But everything else, I would say, like they do sort of go back to basics for that. Yeah, just to make sure that everyone's on the same, on the same level. level yeah. So it's really nice way to go into the degree. So for the foundation year, it was a really nice landing pad because you know uh, you're trying to juggle so many different things you're living in a new city you're living with new people you're trying to you know have your finances and you know uh, figuring out a diet plan and all these different sort of things um, and it, what's really nice about the foundation year is that it's a slightly uh, uh, more relaxed year and you can uh, really kind of find your feet and also try out the different types of engineering. So I actually started the foundation year wanting to do a different type and then through testing out all the different ones discovered that I really liked a different type. Um, so it's nice to try everything out and also uh, have an easier time figuring out what you need that. Arrival on Fresh is, is quite a new experience. You, it's, a, it's a whole new world where you get to meet people from all different backgrounds. Because obviously from school you meet all your local kids, we're here from different continents, different countries. Uh, but it's a really good way to make new friends. Um, a lot of these people you'll find uh, actually have the same interests as you, like the same course you study. Um, most first thing you probably encounter is your flatmates in your, in your, in your halls. Hopefully they're really friendly, you probably will be really great with them. Um, if not, you can join a society and then you can have a very good common background, uh, common interest where you can really like enjoy football for example. Everyone will enjoy football, you can go down to the pub afterwards and enjoy the, the game. So, just get involved, that's the main thing coming to, uh, an uh, to the beginning of the course. Um, so in like Freshers Week as we call it, you have like the Freshers' Fair, which basically gives you the opportunity to speak to all the different societies and see like all the different opportunities that there are in uni, sort of sports or just different like clubs. Um, also, like your courses would probably have societies as well, so you can get to know people that you're going to be studying with, but sort of just in like a more social environment. There's like drinking and non-drinking socials, so it is sort of a little bit for everybody to experience. Yeah, and I think the most important thing to remember is that everybody's in the same boat. So, you know, like everyone's like a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, nervous and everyone kind of want to make, wants to make friends and be friendly. So it is a really nice experience, you know, starting a new stage of life. <laughs> quite nice if you live with people who are on the same course as you then or even just people who are obviously in the same position as you you've already started uni you are going to want to do well but also enjoy yourselves and enjoy the sort of new experience that you're going through together so I think maybe just sort of coming to a decision as a group to say right this afternoon we'll all go to the library together perhaps and then we know that we've done enough work to say let's go out and enjoy ourselves this evening or just having that good balance but trying to find it amongst yourselves so that like you don't feel like you're staying at home while everyone else is going out and enjoying themselves or vice versa. So if you feel like you're going out all the time and not pulling your way, maybe yeah. if like you can find that balance together. Yeah, like I think it's it's a real stigma with engineering that like 
you don't have any time for anything yeah, else. Yeah, work and all play. I think if you keep on top of your studies, like you said, if you've got like course friends and the lecturers are super friendly, you can go to them anytime you have a problem. Um, you know, like uh, you can, just, you can stay on top time. of things, and then and you have time for societies and uh, anything else you want to do. Uh, I've joined quite a few. I've joined the Drama Society, for example. I'm not kind of the person that would look like to do drama. Uh, I've done the Baseball uh, Society, I've done the Basketball Society. Um, there's also a Whiskey Society, but I'll be <laughs> um, Just get involved, you know. There's loads to do. Yeah, um, I've joined, actually also joined the Drama Society. Yeah. Um, there's lots of different sports. I've done skiing and jiu-jitsu, and you can kind of really find whatever you are your interest is. Yeah. There's you know, something there's, for everyone, like definitely. Like there's probably there's so many hundreds different, societies different societies that you wouldn't even expect the university to actually have, but they do, and like they're really popular. Well. Something that's great is that um, my friend was like into a really particular set of dance, and if you want to, yeah. you can start your own society. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Actually, exactly. if you, is it like you have to have like a certain number of people? Yeah. And then the university will like fund you to be able to start that society. But if the society that you want isn't there, then it could be. Then it you could be. It Sky's the limit. Yeah, I, mean, I believe there's a, a Monopoly society where you all get together and do like 30 people playing Monopoly. It can probably get a bit wild. I need to join the society. <laughs> it takes up a lot of space. <laughs> so say my favourite thing about Swansea is just like, particularly the Bay Campus, it's literally on the beach. And like on a day like today when we have such nice weather, like, you can just go down and chill out, like sit down and eat your lunch, like just sit and watch the waves, like particularly if you're a bit like stressed or something, you just need to take like a moment, have some fresh air and just like absorb like, the nice Definitely. atmosphere that we have. Yeah, I really like the location because like, you know, the actual city has like everything you possibly need, but also it's really nicely spaced or if you want like the sort of bigger city, you yeah. can go to Cardiff, you've got the free bus. Or you can go the other way to the Gower and just like sometimes we go for like day trips yeah. with my friends. Or different like yeah. bays, you have like Langland Bay. Yeah, and, and they're bay. so gorgeous, you could just kind of like yeah. get away to nature. So like whichever one you want to do, and you're like kind of perfectly bay situated. As well, you're like a little bit of a step back from the main city centre. Mm -hmm. So like it's still only 10 minutes on the bus, but you're far enough away that you do have that like nice little bubble. Like life that you yeah. sort of it's also because it's all in just one convenient space, but there's so many universities that it's all spread across the city. You have to get five different buses to get to a certain building, where here it's all really convenient, it's all in one place. It's not far from the city, but it's also not far from nature, so it's just a really good in-between threshold from where you want to go. There's a nice like, atmosphere, like being a campus university, and such. Yeah, yeah, like all of your friends. Yeah, like, like you're all together. Um, I went to summer ball this past summer just gone, it was really good, the weather wasn't great but I think <laughs> the people make the event, like it's, it's literally just in a field on Singleton and you have like the fun fit, uh, drinks and just like good like music and stuff and it's just really fun, like it's nice to sort of come together and celebrate like the end of the year like with everyone. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I mean, me and my friends, because it wasn't great weather, we just kind of like, we bought like novelty wellies. Yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah. fun shows. And a few drinks, then we went on all the different rides, <laughs> yeah, and so. obviously there's the, um, the stadium bit where like, yeah. they have all the different acts, and yeah. we were like, going to dance, Stage. and then like, going on the rides, and yeah, it was, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it was good. Varsity is also great, because uh, it's a sports competition that we hold between uh, Swansea and Cardiff University, yeah. and we go back and forth. <laughs> Don't mention Cardiff. <laughs> Don't mention Cardiff. We go back and forth between um, holding it in Swansea and holding it in Cardiff. Um, it's a really nice day out where you yeah. can go around, see all the different sports, see you can compete, have a bit of friendly rivalry. Yeah, there's like there's a good yeah. level see a of sea rivalry. Of green like and if red you have friends pubs. who are in Cardiff Uni, you see them and you're like. We're not friends today, but <laughs> secret to you are. Like, you don't have to be involved in sports to be in varsity. Like, I personally don't play any sports, but varsity is one of my favourite days of the year because you're just all together, like, everything's in good spirits, incredible atmosphere. cheering on your friends. Yeah, like the atmosphere is just really good. Yeah, it is really good. The biggest thing I'd probably say is to be very proactive when you come here. Um, a lot of people will. Uh, isolate themselves and not really take part in a lot of things 
that you can do in, in university when actually if you get out there, you know, you go to all your, all your lectures, you say yes and go to parties and do socials and go to societies, you'll make a lot of friends, people that you probably won't walk about in your daily life, you will encounter things that you probably never will have done before in your life, like I've joined a whiskey society, that's just, I never even thought that was possible, you know, I've done a baseball society, I've never played baseball in my life and now I'm on the, on the first team, you know, just be proactive, just take a positive attitude and just get stuck in, that's the best thing I could probably say. Yeah.